So that was all review. Um, we didn't show it, but uh, just like we did show that, uh, we're, we showed that the, the um, we derived the 1D mass balance and then we just presented the 3D mass balance, okay? Well, so there, of course, if you just uh, make, you know, and then we, how we got to the diffusivity equation was so substituting in Darcy's law. And in 1D, you know, you just have uh, velocities of scalar, but here velocities of vector. So that you just substitute into the 3D mass balance equation where velocity is a vector, the vector form of Darcy's law, and then you just sort of work through all the manipulations and you get something that looks very similar. It's just now you have this um, uh, gradient squared term, right? So the gradient squared, sometimes that's also written as an upside down, or I mean, sometimes that's also written as a triangle. Okay, so if, so some, sometimes you'll see the, the Laplacian squared right there, the gradient squared. Sometimes you'll see it as a, as a triangle. And that's, the two symbols are equivalent. That's, that's called a Laplacian, by the way. Um, it's, it's, it's sort of a, it's, it's a little bit of an abusive notation. Because remember, the gradient is a vector operator, right? We, we, we wrote it out last time. It's like partial partial x, i hat, partial, partial y, j hat, partial, partial, right? And so if you have a vector and you just square it, what do you get? If I have a vector and I just take the square of a vector. You just get another vector, right? Um, but this is a scalar equation. So that would imply, you know, it's a, it is an abuse of notation, right? But, but it's common, so everybody does it. But just, just so you know. So that's really that, that gradient squared is like, you know, you're going to take the gradient of P and then, the grad, and then the divergence of that, right? So that you get a scalar. Okay? So uh, there it's been written out. Uh, in 2D, th this is what you'd have if you wrote out the components of this guy. Um, in 3D, it's similar except now, instead of pressure, uh, we've used the symbol phi. So phi just implies that there's a gravity term, right? So it's the pressure plus the term that accounts for the gravity, okay? And so in 2D, we could always align our, you know, we could align our domain such that gravity has no effect. But in 3D, there will always be gravity. Right? There's no way to avoid it. 